Hi, and uh, welcome back. I have a new great series for you guys. I played Cone to Burn in uh, the Tron War main event, and I filmed all the rounds. So I really enjoy like, this format, uh, just filming myself. I think it's more, I think it's more fun to do commentary because I can, instead of guessing what people are thinking, I know what I was thinking. So. I think that makes it more interesting and uh, we can talk a bit more about sideboarding and all that. So let's jump into it. So let us first take a look at the classic counter burn list and uh, this is not the list I played. So here you can see I found this on Wak Wak. I think this is uh, Gordon Anderson's counter burn deck and uh, this is like the default counter burn um, deck. Uh, the problem with this deck is that you have uh, 8 Arabian Knight creatures and you have 3 City of Brass and a library. So that's uh, 12 cards from Arabian Knights. And uh, that is kind of scary because uh, City of Bra and City in a Bottle is uh, very often used. And uh, of course, my goal here is to go top 8. Uh, and, uh, you, and then you gotta. Yeah, you can go X and 2 perhaps, but you should go X and 1. Uh, and uh, you often lose some games to library. Sometimes you start with it and you win, and sometimes your opponent starts with it and they win. So you can't do that much about it. But uh, if I'm going to play this deck, I feel like I'm going to lose a couple of games uh, I get because of uh, sitting in a bottle. So. I'm kind of hesitant because I feel like I'm not going to win enough matches with this deck. So I did some thinking, and of course, if you look at the in the look at the internet, there's other smarter people also been thinking the same. So I find a, found a sweet list from uh, Svante Landgraf. Uh, he's an awesome player and a very good deck builder. So let's take a look at this one. So here's the deck that I went with. So first of all, let's take a look at the creatures. You can see we have the two flying men and uh, we have three iron claw orcs. And uh, iron claw orcs is not the greatest creature, but it is a 2-2 two, two for two and it works great under a blood moon. And uh, there's a pretty good strategy just attacking with a factory and iron claw orc and you have uh, a lot of uh, burn to uh, remove your opponent's creature. So that is a great way to do it. And uh, speaking of Blood Moon, the previous deck had uh, Blood Moon in his uh, sideboard, but uh, here I have two Blood Moons in my main deck. And I think Blood Moon is a better card main deck than in sideboard, uh, because uh, often after after game one, they will try to hold up counter spell and uh, they often put in some uh, blue elemental blast to also deal with blood moon. So uh, I really like the main deck and uh, my plan is to sideboard them out uh, in, a, in a lot of matches. Uh, in the previous deck there was four counter spells and uh, one mana drain and here is only two. And uh, this, uh, this list only has uh, 12 blue sources plus uh, black loaders. So if you want to consistently cast a counter spell on turn two, I think you should have 14 blue. So since we only have 12 blue, I kind of like just having two of a counter spell. And of course, uh, one in the sideboard. We have both the draw sevens; they're great. Just, uh, just, just like if you're a mulligan to five and you got a hand with a land and a mox and a draw seven. You're right back in it. For sideboarding, in a, in a lot of games where I suspect uh, sit in a bottle, I will board out two Serendi Efrets and put in uh, two Suchis. So in that way, I get even lower on Arabian cards. So um, you have a, in the second row on the sideboard side, there are a Shatter and two Shatter Storms. Great against robots. You have the blue and red elemental blast. You have a copper tablet. Copper tablet is uh, a very good answer against the deck and uh, 
for example against the circle of protection red that can be pretty annoying so that was some uh, quick thoughts about the deck and the sideboarding and uh, as we go along in this tournament we will talk some more sideboarding so uh, the deck is ready and uh, pairings for round one is coming up and uh, who am I paired against? Gandalf the Dark so <laughs> That's a hard start to this tournament. I remember feeling a bit hangover from last night. And I, I know Gandalf is playing his Skynet deck. And that's a pretty hard matchup for this deck. And I, Gandalf has won against me on a previous video. And I must admit it's kind of a side quest just to try to beat Gandalf on a, on a feature match. But uh, I would prefer it to meet him later and not the first round but uh, that's how it goes and that match you will see next time on Farmstead MTG so until then take care and goodbye <laughs>